When you modify a car, you eventually need to be able to monitor a bunch of engine vitals. Obviously, you can just add some gauges, which we've done. We've added a few gauges to the Miata already. But when you want to keep an eye on a lot of stuff, what do you do? You just add a bunch of gauges, maybe some on the A-pillar? Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. But in the case of the Miata, space is already so tight and my visibility is already pretty obstructed. I don't want to do that. But I do want to keep an eye on a lot of stuff. So what do I do? Well, today I'm going to be pulling out the old analog gauge cluster and replacing it with a digital dash that should let us keep an eye on anything that the Mega Squirt can see. So it should be really sweet, as long as we can get it installed without looking too janky. And I think we can do it. I'm Zach and this is Money Pit. Let's get digital. A big thanks to Lords Mobile for sponsoring today's episode. Now, I'm always looking for ways to kill time while Zach Job helps me out on my truck while my shoulder heals. Hey, Job, how you doing, buddy? Almost done, Jerry. Okay, thanks. I'll keep helping out up here. I've been getting into more SLG games, and one of my go-tos is Lords Mobile. It is a top mobile game that is all about strategy. And in the game, you can choose army troops and hero formations and create a badass city. There are more and more people joining the game every day. They already have over 340 million players. Holy crap, is that real? That's crazy. That's like way bigger than Donut. <laughs> Anyways, you can join the guild to play the game today with some guild mates who are from all over the world. And because Lords Mobile likes your old pal Jerry, they wanted to offer you guys the chance to win some brand new iPhone 12. Yeah, you're welcome. All you have to do is click the link in the description and the top three players in the might rank section can win one iPhone 12 each. And you can increase your might by building your kingdom and leveling up. And you can even spin the lucky wheel for your chance to win one of the iPhone 12s and a bunch of other awesome prizes every time you upgrade your castle. So click the link in the description for your chance to win an iPhone 12 and cash. Plus, a special $350 Lords Mobile gift pack will be automatically offered to all participants after downloading the game. Job, what is taking so long? Oh, that explains a lot. You know what that looks like? Huh. Looks like one of them uh, digital picture frames. Oh yeah, it kind of does. Look at Nolan. So here's what we got. This is a 12.3 inch widescreen digital dash from DDEFI. It is pretty sweet. It's built to be plug and play with the Mega Squirt, so we'll be able to see anything on the Mega Squirt. This is almost just like a computer monitor. I'll be able to tune from this screen too if I want to. It's also got its own GPS for speedometer, uh, which is also quite nice. Now, temporarily, I'm gonna lose the functionality of my fuel level gauge and my oil pressure gauge, which I'm not okay with long term, uh, but I can get that stuff plugged into the Mega Squirt, and then I'll be able to see it on this dash. That's just another project for another day. But the real trick is gonna be getting this thing installed in the area that the old gauges were. This thing is A, really big, and B, not meant to go there. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky to get this installed in a way that looks decent, in a way that doesn't keep me up at night. So that is gonna be the hard part, but I think we're gonna be able to do it. All we're gonna have to do is pull out the screws that hold the gauge cluster in and disconnect it. We're also gonna take off uh, this little cover off the steering column right here. Just another couple screws. Pretty much everything on the interior of the Miata is held together by just a couple screws. Okay. Oh yeah, there's another gauge screw. So, you remember a long time ago when we were at the racetrack, all my gauges would shut off repeatedly? Uh, well, that's the thing with the Miata, and, and even if everything's working correctly, if you over rev it, sometimes the gauges will pop anyway, which has happened to me since. Since we're gonna be installing this digital dash, it's no longer gonna be on that circuit, and it's no longer gonna do that ever, so. I caught a 13-incher, baby. Two and a half pounds. All right, so this thing is pretty big, and it's even bigger with this universal 3D printed bezel that it comes with. I wanna be able to reinstall this at the end. Now this one specifically is super broken in pretty much every way, but I'm gonna use this one to test fit this and get everything done, because I know I'm gonna need to trim this. So obviously it's not gonna work uh, as is, it's not gonna work with this big bezel, and I think that we've got some depth issues too. Uh, with just how thick this is. So, I think we're gonna have to take matters into our own hands, kind of take this thing apart, dismantle it a little bit, and uh, put it back together in a way that fits, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully.
All right, so now we've got the screen itself removed from the guts. Let's go kind of lay this in the dash and see if this thing itself will fit. Looks like if I can mount that there, the hover will go back on, I think. Now it's nice, we've got all these little threaded standoffs. So I should be able to use these to mount it one way or another. I think if I just make some tabs, I'll be able to use the original mounting locations for the original gauges. Oh yeah, I think that's gonna work just fine. So now let's get the screen out of here and start working on wiring. Uh, basically, we're gonna need to find a source of constant 12 volts, a source of ignition 12 volts, and a source of uh, like door open 12 volts, and then a ground. Then we've just gotta run a USB cable back to the mega squirt, pull out the old multimeter, and uh, figure out where to wire this thing in. Okay, so I think we've got a plan. Uh, I'm gonna use the old harness from the door buzzer that I disconnected a while back. So this has both ground and it has a switch 12 volt source. So when I turn the key on, 12 volts shows up right here and I've got the ground that I can use, which is great. Then I just need a constant source of 12 volts, which I'm gonna take from the dome light over there. So now at this point, all I gotta do is make a few jumper wires to go from where I'm taking power from to the dash. I'm just kind of uh, roughly estimating the length that I need these to be. I'll chop them and then I'll trim them to be perfect once I get them in. But uh, this is the kind of thing I'm going to start a little bit long and then uh, dial it in once I install them. Plenty! <laughs> that super good measuring. Okay, now let's go get these put in the car. And then we're one whole step closer. So, we'll plug our little jumpers right into this harness. We should have ground, ground, and 12 volt. All right, so we got 12 volts with the key on and we got ground, so now we just need to get that constant 12 volts, which we're gonna pull from over there. We're almost there. All right, so we're fishing this uh, power wire from the passenger side to the driver's side, which can be a huge pain if you don't have a piece of metal like this. This is a piece of welding rod I brought from home, but you can use a straightened out wire coat hanger or, you know, whatever, a stick that you found in the yard. Anything that makes this easier is your friend. Okay, so now we've got our jumper wires in the car, so now I'm just fishing them up to where the dash is gonna go. Then I'll cut them to fit, and then I'll splice on the jumper that actually goes into the dash. And then all the real wiring is done. All right, so now we've got our jumper wires uh, strung up to where the dash is gonna go. We got our dash harness, uh, if that's what you wanna call it, ready to connect to these, so all I gotta do is connect them. All right, so now that's placed, all we need to do is run our USB extension cable and mount our little GPS thingy. Okay, so that was real easy. Now, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the USB thing. I had to go to a mall yesterday, it was weird. Okay, so this is basically just gonna bridge from the mega squirt to the dash. So I'm gonna pop out the center console real quick because I'm gonna go up under and then up to the back and I'm gonna have it hanging out back between the seats somewhere. So let's get the center console out. You know, it's not a day of working on the Miata if you don't have to at least take out the center console. All right. Now we're just gonna throw all this back together. Yeah, I mean, not too bad. Uh, Could have trimmed a little more of that wire off, but we'll just tuck it back there just like that and we'll never see it again. All right. Well, it's not that easy to put in with the Allen key, but it is in and I think it's gonna work. And it actually looks pretty good and it is quite sturdy. So let's see if we can get this thing working. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna turn the key on and uh, see what happens. I'm kind of interested to see what this looks like. I have no idea what, what to expect. Hopefully it looks cool. Hopefully it works. Is that the fan making that noise? <laughs> Flames, bro. 
Wow. Uh, so it pretty much just kind of looks like Windows. So I'm gonna be able to configure these gauges uh, in any way that you can configure gauges on Megasquirt. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing hooked up to our, uh, our keyboard. Okay, after a little bit of fiddling around and having to go find a USB drive, uh, we got it working. It's connected to the Mega Squirt, and I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. So right now we're just looking at kind of the traditional Mega Squirt screen, the standard gauges, and you can see it's connected, it's actually working. Hey, not bad. And then obviously all this is configurable, I'm sure. Ooh, the amber LED. Dang, what is this Night Rider? This thing is sweet. Man, okay, all right. Well, I don't wanna to get too sucked into just playing with this right now because as easy as it would be to do that, we're not done yet. Still have to trim uh, the old gauge cover up to make it fit with a new gauge. So I'm gonna use this old junky one, get it trimmed up and get it uh, flush with our new screen. Should look good. Yeah, I think that ought to do it. That should hold that in place for now. Looks real nice too. All right, before we go drive this thing, I wanna get this dash kind of set up so that we're looking at all the vitals that we care about, or at least what we can access for now. So I'm gonna customize our dash a little bit and then we'll go drive it. All right, so just from the factory, this kind of comes with some random stuff up here. So I've just gone ahead and put some things that I care about on the screen. Like we've got our vacuum and our boost up there now. We've got throttle position, air fuel ratio, our intake air temp, our battery voltage, coolant temp, and obviously we've got miles per hour and RPM. There are dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of options of things that I can look at, which is really nice, you know? If, if I need to monitor anything, all I gotta do is go click on it and look at it rather than install yet another gauge. So this is really starting to seem like it is pretty worth it. So I think I'm gonna full screen this thing and uh, take it for a spin. You know, I can't lie. This makes me feel kinda cool. Look at all my gauges, look at all my data. Look at all the things that I know about my car. That's how you know that I'm really a car guy because I can monitor all the things going on in my car. Obviously that said, I can't yet monitor my fuel level or my oil pressure, but uh, the nice thing is with this digital dash is that now whenever I plug any of those sort of engine vitals into the Mega Squirt, I can just easily look at them. Uh, and that's a pretty streamlined process. The Mega Squirt is easy to plug things into. And now that I have this digital dash, it's really easy to look at them. So honestly, I was a little bit skeptical about this one in terms of how it would look at the end. And now granted, with all this masking tape, it's a little hard to imagine. But if you can imagine without the masking tape, I think it's gonna look sweet and it certainly is functional. Uh, it's really nice to have all these gauges and I'm, I'm really excited to, uh, to be able to do more with the Mega Squirt. I think that this makes it easier for me to, to spend some more time messing with the Mega Squirt. So in my opinion, uh, this is worth it. If you're modifying your car to the point that you really start the need to be able to keep an eye on things, absolutely go with the digital dash. Uh, I can't wait to get the new gauge cover in from uh, Mazda. And once I do, I'll trim it up make it match uh, you know, this one, and we'll be in business. So thank you guys so much for watching us install this digital dash and bringing the Miata into the 21st century. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Zach Job, and follow Donut at Donut Media. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. <laughs>
Limited edition donut stickers, OG logo in reflective black. Head over to donutmedia.com and snag yourself part of our limited edition dark mode drop. As for me, I'm gonna go hang out with JFK.